What's going on, y'all? It's your girl, Miss J. I am back with InStyle Atlanta and Juicy Pop. And y'all, these two guests, they really don't need no introduction, but I'm going to give them one anyways. If y'all been watching BMF, the first season, well, y'all know the second season is about to come out on Stars, January 6th to be exact. And we are now being joined by Lil Meech, who, of course, plays his dad, Big Meech. And, of course, Miles Truitt, who plays his right-hand man, Big Mickey. Yes, What's man. up, y'all? How y'all doing? What up, doing good. Good. I'm good. excited to have y'all back. Thank you. Excited to be here. I'm excited to see season two. Yes. yes. I haven't got all the details, but hopefully y'all can give me a few little exclusive secrets mm-hmm. and insights of what we can expect from this season. But before we actually get into season two, let's talk about, y'all were just talking about food. <laughs> Look. I'm a foodie. And last time I saw y'all, we was talking about food, too. We was talking about peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. Oh, yeah. I don't share them shits on set. So, I was just asking him, Miles, <laughs> you still being stingy with the peanut butter and jelly? Hell, yeah. Well, That's yeah. crazy. You just talking about that before you left here. The pretzels. Be. You want to give a nigga the pretzels. You want to break it in half. Break it in half? Yes. That's what type he is. You ask for a pretzel, you going to break it in half. And wow. scene. And scene. And scene. <laughs> <laughs> and scene. Nah, I'd be sharing with him on set, man. But he he he's the type of guy that he's the type of cat that will <laughs> he'll 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 let you ask it from him, like, hey, Meech, do you want this? And he'll tell me, he'll be like, No, no, I don't want it. Then he'll come back with the snack and he'll be like, Did you yeah, let me get a piece? Let me get a piece, bro. <laughs> hey, so he give you the snack piece. and then he want a piece of it. Yeah. Okay. Got it. And where you say you just <laughs> ate at Meech? No, I ain't just eat nothing. I said he was just or you were saying you right. eating pretzels. And I asked him for one, he was gonna give me half. That's crazy. You see how he feels so off- He looks yeah. like he's offended by it, but he's not. <laughs> I mean, because he's a grown man. He don't need a little baby bite. He's an actor. Right. Oh, okay. You know what I'm saying? Right, he's an actor now. So All right, actor. You believe in him. You feel me? <laughs> All right, I want to play a little game with y'all. What's up? Marry, pass, or smash, okay? <laughs> yeah. So it's going to be a couple of different cast members. Oh, and then cast it, members? Yeah. Plus? I mean, you know. On the same show? Then we got a show, yes. No, yeah, oh, you trying yeah, to play yeah, a ruthless game? Look, like, um, we just I'm having fun, y'all. Just we just having that. fun, okay? Y'all ready? Okay. Y'all ready? We, I'm, okay. I, and it's I'm a couple trying. rappers sprinkled in here I'm and there. I'm listening. Okay? So the first one, Kato. Well, oh, you already know that. I was going to say, we already know now. you was already smashing that one. So, okay. But but Kato, Mary smash or pass for both of y'all? Mary smash or pass? Oh, we're playing it a different way. Um, How we playing? You got to choose one. Mary smash or pass. What you would do with that person? Kato, I thought it was one of the show? Mm-hmm. Pass. I thought it was supposed to be... Uh, 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 um, if you could bring her back, would you marry her? Would you smash her again? As a character? Well, my, char- that, my character probably would have married her, probably, yeah. Yeah, because you was heartbroken. Yeah, you were. It took a lot for you to do that. But I had to do I it. felt it when y'all was sitting at that table drinking no bottles of Hennessy. I was like, damn. <laughs> that was a good scene. Sorry. That it was, was a good scene. It was. It took that the harsh I remember that scene. Look. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I remember filming it. Yeah, I remember crazy. filming it. We wasn't really sipping on no gin or nothing. It was some juice. I was gonna ask, tea. was it real liquor it's in there? It was, it was iced tea. tea. Okay, it was iced tea. Okay, y'all did a good job portraying <laughs> that. All right, Lawanda, who's played by Sydney Mitchell, would y'all pass, smash, or marry her? Mary. Mary. Okay, cause she a ride or die. She a good girl. All right, Monique, who's played by Cash Dog. Pass. That was your girl though. She she betrayed me. She did with Lamar. How am I back? She did. You right. Pass. Pass, okay. Uh, what about Lori, who's played by Soraya? Mary. Because that was your boo. She was, she was trying to get the police up off of you. Right. What would you do? Smash. Okay. All right, this person is actually, <laughs> you know. <laughs> wow, sick, man. Okay, and this person is actually coming on this season. Mm. She's um, Young Miami, Carisha. I got respect for my man, Danny. Now, I'm going to keep it P. Man. I mean, we, we talking as if it's B. Mickey. We not speaking well, to I'm you. I'm speaking as B. Mickey, oh. too. We going we gonna to okay. pass that. We going to pass that. Come on, Meech. Pass. Yeah. Pass? Okay. It's, it's respectful. Big Glow. Glorilla. I see. That's friend. That's, that's your, friend. That's your girl. That's your homie. That's pass. But we speaking as B. Mickey. We not talking as Miles. B. Mickey said pass. Okay. All right. He <laughs> said pass. pass. Meech and Meech says pass. Okay. Everybody <laughs> passing on Big Glow. That's friend. All right. So before we even get into the season, thank y'all for playing. Mm-hmm. I appreciate that. So before we even get into the season. Um, oh, I'm scared, boy. Oh, me too. <laughs> for real. When she said that, I was like, all right, let's go. Y'all didn't know what I was coming with. I didn't with. know what you was going to say, but I was ready for I wouldn't it. do y'all like that. Nah. But um, let's talk about the show a little bit before we get into season two. So y'all actually film inside of the actual house that your dad grew up in. That your, it's your actual family house. 
How does that feel for you to go back? And is it like nostalgic? Does it put y'all more in the mind frame of the characters? Like, yeah. does that help y'all out? I love going there. I love going to Detroit and being at the actual house they grew up in because it makes it more authentic and real. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And even though it's cool being in Atlanta and they build in the set, it's not the same. Mm-hmm. It's not the same feeling. It's not the same nothing. You know, like when we actually go to Detroit and we're in the hood and we're there, it's just the energy, like, it's different. You can't even explain it. Like, it feels like we're them. Right. My grandma, she be crying hysterically. She just always tells us how much we remind her of them. Wow. Even Miles, she was just telling me how much, you know, Miles even reminded her of my dad's friend. And T, Da Vinci reminded her of T, and I reminded It's just crazy, like, they pick the cast perfectly, and we make it authentic. That's what and that. real because we sit down and, s- and take the time to make sure that you know we take the beats and actions and think about the real characters and how they would have did it and what we would have done. Mm-hmm. So it all makes it one big family. That's what's up. What about for you, Miles? No, I mean yeah, going to Detroit, being able to pick up on ex- certain exterior shots that you wouldn't necessarily be able to grasp from Atlanta, L.A., you know, New York. Um, you got to go to the actual birthplace, that origin realm. And um, we were fortunate enough to do that and also be able to pinpoint in the certain sources of the people that we were portraying. Mm-hmm. Um, Meech, his father, you know what I'm saying, a big one, being able to talk to Randy, you know, his son, the writers, what have you, all of them, all those people through this, through his those cell walls. Mm-hmm. You feel what I'm saying? So mm-hmm. that's just a big aspect, too. We got his uncle, you know what I'm saying? We got... Lucille, we got all these people that are able to be able to pull together and make this storyline as authentic and real as possible because we got people that are coming from Detroit that's watching this and we don't want to be able to illustrate a story for somebody to be questioning. Got it. You know exactly. what I'm saying? Because it is a true story. Right. So, um, yeah. Okay, so uh, recently you guys, well, not you guys, but 50 Cent released the documentary of BMF. You good? Mm-hmm. And um, it, for me personally, I enjoy watching it because it gives you more insight into how the empire was built. But one thing that really stood out to me was the fact that your dad and your uncle really gave back to other people in the community. They really showed the set of the foundation of your family. Um, Talk to us a little bit about how they went about doing that and then also what it means to you to give back. Do you give back to people now? Like, does that have an influence on you? Yeah, my dad, I definitely want to start giving back. You know, um, in my career, once I get more established and, and do the where I'm going, you know, me and the cast will definitely do that. But I feel like my dad and uncle, that's what made them more different than everybody else. Absolutely. Because, like, they were humble. He wasn't the type of wealthy man to want to boast and brag and, and be the only one with money. He wants everybody to have money, everybody live off the fruits of the labor, Everybody be able to take out, take care of their family. He doesn't want people beefing and shit like that. So he did give back to show the community, like, I'm not this person that y'all think I am. Right. I use my resources to take care of my family. Like, Absolutely. Detroit only had drug dealing and guns and violence back in the day. The 1980s, there was the number one murder capital of Detroit in the mm-hmm. world. So it was like he had to use those in front of him to take his family out of poverty. They couldn't even afford to pay the bills working right. three jobs. Right. So it was kind of like... That thing, I was watching the John Gotti documentary the other day, and you could see, like, before John Gotti got arrested, the community was coming up to the jail. Like, John Gotti used to make the the um, the um people with the Toys R Us, make the buses stop and give all the kids toys in the hood. Like, he, he just, he did, well, he used his power for different reasons to give back to the hood and show his community. Like, mm-hmm. you know, that's kind of what my dad did, even though he wasn't trying to do wrong, and he definitely didn't have no violence. On this case, he was just trying to show the hood, like, okay, I'm y'all savior. Like, I want to take care of y'all, you know, but some people don't really understand because of just what he did, what him and his brother did. All right. And how they took their self out of poverty. Damn, look at the bigger picture. Got it. Right. All right. Um, so we going to um, get over into season two a little bit. So at the end of season one, we see you got picked up by Detective Bryant. He's asking you questions. Mm. What happens does B Mickey does he stay true to BMF? 
We need to know. Everybody think he finna snitch, man. Come on, Everybody you gotta get closer snitch. to the mic so we can. Everybody hear think he finna snitch, and it's not even that. You know, this season, <laughs> he's torn between the two worlds of between him trying to play off that side of that loyalty and brotherhood that he's trying to show towards um, Meech and the acceptance factor of the position that he's been given um, in the time frame of him of him get being getting you know him receiving it, um, and then also keeping the whole storyline secret of um, behind Meech back with Detective Bryant. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Detective Bryant trying to get to Meech this season um, using these two homicides and his mother, you know what I'm saying, holding that over his head. So um, it's a lot of things that he's, a lot of psychological warfare that B. Mickey is going to be going through this season that you guys are going to be seeing. But um, he going to stay strong, man. Okay. He going to stay strong. Okay. He so he strong. riding for BMF for life. Riding, man. Period. Riding. Okay, I know that's right. The loyalty is real. Uh, Meech, we're going to get on to you real quick. So at the end of the season, we see all the craziness you went through with Lamar. Well, this season, we kind of get reintroduced back into K-9. We saw him briefly at the beginning of season one. He's coming back. We see him in the trailer. Y'all got some type of business deals going on. And he even says, if you don't come back with my money, your ass is dead pretty much. Tell us about that. Is he gonna be the new Lamar this season? Is, is are we gonna expect I energy it, like but that? He's definitely a motherfucker. Okay. If you watch the documentary, I encourage everybody to watch the documentary because it'll give you more insight in the right. show, and you'll be able to watch the show and understand it more. And be like, damn, okay, that's what that was. You can put the pieces together better. But K Nine, his real name was Dog. He was my dad's plug, but he was the plug that. Remember, Pat was the plug that didn't want my dad to sell more than him. Right. He's the, This plug is giving my dad whatever he wants. He just let my dad know if he don't got his money and do everything he say he don't do, he don't kill him. He means it. Got it. And I don't want to spoil none, but you'll definitely get to see how much he means what he says throughout the season. Okay. You know, and my dad isn't the type of person who want to betray you or hurt or even mess up in any type of way. So he's going to show K-9 that he's the man for the job. And... He don't care about you saying he going to kill him. He done heard it before already. He's still going to be able to get what you want done. So that's what type of person Meech is, you know. Okay. And speaking of your dad, have you spoken to him recently? Or how I often do you speak day. to him? Every day. Okay. And have they said anything, given any updates as far as his release date potentially? Yeah. Three years off his sentence. Um, so his, right now his BOP date is like 28. But he's supposed to get like another two and a half years off, which make it like five. Um, because he got no violence on his case, so he follow, he f- he follows under this law called nonviolent offenders. Okay. Um, and, and basically, it's like if you don't have no violence in your case, just drugs, you get a time cut. So he should be able to get like five years off. He got three already. He should get another two and a half off, which will bring him to like 25, 26. Okay. And he should be home within the next two, three years. Okay. Dad coming home free, big Meech, okay? We screaming that. We ain't supporting him. Um, we also saw in a documentary where 50 Cent was saying that he had invested a lot into your career to help you with acting so that he could help prevent you from going down that same road as your dad. Do you feel like this show has really helped you and what other opportunities has it presented and offered to you? Man, so many. I feel like this changed my life. Like, I don't feel that it does. It did. Um, everything my dad did, everything he sacrificed was so I could be legit and take care of him. I get to do everything he did with no risk, like, and live it out and tell the story. So, you know, this is all really what my dad wanted. Okay, that's what's up. Anything else y'all want to share with us that's going to happen this season that we haven't touched on? <laughs> y'all looking at each other, so that means something. I mean, it's a lot to expect. I mean, I can say there's a lot of different heavy I know there's new faces coming. Yeah, yeah, right. Young Man, Me, Monique, Snoop Dogg come back, uh, La La Anthony. Jayla Rose, yeah, Jayla Leslie Jones. Rose, Les- so all the heavy hitters. But um, a lot more action this season. Uh, ten episodes instead of eight. Okay. Longer episodes. Awesome. You know, um, the storyline is a little bit evolved now. Um, moving to Atlanta. Mm-hmm. You know, get a little bit of feel the of that. Right. You know, so um, just it's, it's, you're starting to see the evolution of from 50 boys to now BMF. Got it. The transition. So, uh, yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. Any th- new projects y'all got coming up for 2023 besides BMF? Um, nah, not as far as right now. It's slow motion right now. It's the fourth quarter of the year, but waiting for policy season. Um, I'm getting ready to start 
getting a project in the mix with Paul George, getting some money behind that and getting the rough drafts of our um, our mock script. But um, it's a simulated TV series, uh, TV, TV project. You get to depict the scenarios um, and the, the choices of the character while you're watching it. Okay. And that's going to be really cool. Okay, that's yeah, I did some enemy. Really? I did an enemy TV show. That's what's up. Um, JV Smooth. Uh, and I did also a movie called Tars that came out a couple of weeks ago. I think it came out in film theaters. But um, I did that movie with MGK and Megan Fox. Okay. And I got some other things in the works right now. Me and Jamie Fox gonna do a movie. Uh, so and then you know we got season three coming up too. That's what I'm um, talking about. Come on, there. season three. We're trying to go ten seasons. Like some let's finos. go. I'm here for it. All right, really quickly, can y'all tell our viewers? how they can follow y'all on social media and stay up to date with everything y'all got going on. Um, yeah, you can follow me on Instagram at Miles Truitt, M-Y-L-E-S-T-R-U-I-T-T. Me too, Lil Mish BMF at Instagram, on Instagram. All righty. All right, y'all. Thank y'all so much for y'all time. I know y'all are booked and busy, so thank you for coming and sitting and talking with me again. I appreciate y'all. I have fun with y'all, too. Y'all, yeah. make sure you check out season two of BMF on Stars, January 6th. Two. You don't want to miss it. They don't, they don't want to give me all the spoilers, but they gave me enough, so y'all make sure y'all tune in. I'm your girl, Miss J. Make sure you are following in Style Atlanta at the letter N, Style Atlanta, on all social media platforms, and make sure you follow me, Miss J, M-I-S-S, Jordan underscore radio. And I'll talk to y'all soon.